All right, we are back now with another free speech issue at an American university, but this one is a little different. The head of a Wisconsin university was terminated for making adult videos with his wife and posting them on the Internet. But tonight he's fighting back and speaking to our Jesse Kirsch. Good morning and welcome at the University of Wisconsin La Crosse. Dr. Joe Gao led this commencement ceremony just days ago. She's Carmen and he's Joe and we are the, the sexy, sexy, happy, happy couple. couple. And this is Sexy Healthy, Healthy cooking. cooking. But away from his day job as school chancellor, Gao was working on a different kind of video. You have outdone yourself. Gao and his wife, Carmen Wilson, star in their own pornographic videos on sites like Pornhub. He says in recent months they started publicly posting the adult videos, including this sexually explicit YouTube cooking show. You're really good. And you outdid yourself yesterday as well. <laughs> Thank you. We had such a great time. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> Roughly a week ago, Gao says the universities of Wisconsin asked about his videos. And by Wednesday, he was abruptly terminated as chancellor after nearly 17 years of service. There was no due process. I was never uh, informed of any policy that I violated. The university system has not specified why Gao was terminated. But the president writes in a statement, Gao subjected the university to significant reputational harm. His actions were abhorrent. Gao believes he was terminated because of his pornography and argues his university is not honoring freedom of expression. There are the classical um, exceptions to the First Amendment, but having material that explores consensual adult sexuality, I mean, that shouldn't be. We should be able to talk about that on a college campus. Is it fair to say, though, that you were held to a different standard as the leader of the university, as the face of the university in ways? I'm not sure. Some experts say legal precedent does not favor Gao. There's a large zone of speech on matters of private concern that's protected in the sense that you can't go to jail for it or you can't be sued for it, uh, but that the employer might still fire you. An old debate getting a new look from a surprising perspective. Jesse Kirsch, NBC News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.